Good afternoon. A bit of fun in these uh, dark and surreal days of lockdown. Um, mostly I, um, as you'll see on uh, elsewhere on the channel, I enjoy uh, uh, monster gramophones and the uh, incredible sound they produce, but um, uh, lesser ones, unusual ones fascinate me too. And here we, we have something really compact and bijou, uh, a really cute little miniature. Uh, around about 1923, this is a Peter Pan, uh, the first sort, with a uh, with a most peculiar horn. Uh, hope I'm not too fingers and thumbs with this, or, or fungus and thims, as I like to say. Uh, I'm not very used to doing these uh, show and tell things, but uh, thought we'd have a go anyway. So, what have we got in in this little kit of parts? Uh, lovely little sound box, beautiful. Um, uh, Peter Pan uh, logo there behind the diaphragm. Not a great diaphragm, but it's sounding okay. So when I rebuilt this, I uh, I didn't bother uh, changing it. It's uh, working quite well. So we we'll put that down for a moment. And what's what's this? Is that uh, Grandma's uh, biscuit cutters? No, it is actually a uh, a horn. Just uh, pull those out, and it uh, and uh, they uh, they firm up into uh, into a cone, and uh, an arm. I'm not going to say tone arm. This is this really this design is is much like the the very early gramophones, which did not have a tone arm. That term refers to um, the first ones where, from the back of the sound box, the the arm actually forms a tube through which the sound or tone travels. So uh, this does not have that. It's just straight from the sound box into a horn like the very early ones. So that goes in a little slot in the lid there. And the sound box goes on. There's an extra little fitting on the back there with a detent. So that clips on there. And the horn just pushes onto it. I have to make sure that it stays good and rigid and um, not sort of... It's a bit... Um, variable as to as to sort of uh, you know what orientation it can end up and it needs to be sort of up a little bit so it doesn't uh, foul the record what else have we got here what on earth is this thing it's actually a turntable so there we are and uh, winding handle in the lid let's give this thing a, uh, a wind just keep the uh, fingers of the turntable out of the way as we do it. You'll see two buttons or knobs on the front of this. Uh, one is the speed control as you would expect. Uh, the lower one is um, is actually the, the brake which uh, operates on and off with a with a screw. So let's put a, a needle in. And uh, I've helpfully placed the record elsewhere, so bear with me a moment, talk amongst yourselves, just go around and, and pick that up. I told you I'd be all fungus and thims, never mind. And this is a um, uh, nice musical number by Jack Pleasant, a daft musical hall number in, in fact. Have you ever seen a winkle wink? Being, being as we're quite near the sea here, um, near Dover. I used to live in Whitstable where the, uh, uh, which was famous for its oysters of course. But uh, yeah, this is this is jolly good fun. So um, yeah, let's play the, the record. I might move the machine around a little bit as we go so that you can see. Have you ever seen a wink-a-wink? Then why do you 
Should have said this is the first type of Peter Pan with the uh, with the aluminium horn in sections like that. Uh, the later sort, um, the two later sorts at least, uh, did actually have um, a tone arm, uh, a very very short one that went into a little horn formed in the uh, in the lid. Um, but as I say, this is the the, the first type around about 1923. Very cute and uh, works really very well. Surprisingly well um, and extremely portable though of course you had to lug uh, a jolly great big uh, case of records with you as well so kind of uh, uh, defeated the object to uh, to some extent there but uh, tremendous fun anyway thank you <laughs> 